You're listening to Simplicity Sunday with your host, Angela Bingham, broadcasting live on your good neighbor station, News Radio WGNS, every Sunday from 6 until 7 p.m. Thanks for tuning into the show, and remember, one hour of simplicity can change your life in Jesus Christ. locally owned and operated in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Call Tamanika Turner, 615-877-5969 or via email touchbyangel2018 at gmail.com. They offer a wide range of handmade custom crafts from blankets to t-shirts, jewelry, tumblers, and wreaths. Also, decor for events from baby showers to weddings. If you need decor, call Touch by Angels. These shirts for Simplicity Radio. Or jackets if you want to order for $25, t-shirts for $12 or $12.50. Call her. I want to see everybody walking around with these shirts for Simplicity Radio. You haven't been touched until you've been touched by this angel, Tama Nika Turner, 615 877 5969 to order your shirt for Simplicity Radio Broadcast. Hello everybody, this is Coach Scott Oatsfall with LT360 and we are proud sponsors of Simplicity Radio with Angela Bingham. LT360 is an all-natural healthcare company specializing in getting people healthy at the cellular level while nurturing the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. We're an all-natural healthcare, so if you struggle with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, or you're looking to get off your medication and change your life, then you can give us a call at 615-815-0390 or lt360.com. And again, you're listening to Simplicity Radio with my sister, woman of power and faith, Angela Bingham. You've changed thousands of diapers, played hours of peekaboo and duck duck goose. You do anything to protect your kids. I'm State Farm Agent Emerson Williams, and it's important to protect them with life insurance. I can make it easy and affordable for you to protect your family. This is Michelle Gibson with United Realty Group in South Florida, where I listen to and support Simplicity Radio with Angela Bingham. If you are looking to buy or sell real estate in the South Florida area, don't forget to contact me at 561-336-6119 or Michelle with two L's at the number 4, salepbc.com. You are listening to Simplicity Radio with Angela Bingham on WGNS 1450 on your dial. Stay tuned for a more stimulating conversation. Hello, everybody. This is Coach Scott Oatsfall with LT360, and we are proud sponsors of Simplicity Radio with Angela Bingham. LT360 is an all-natural healthcare company specializing in getting people healthy at the cellular level while nurturing the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. We're an all-natural healthcare, so if you struggle with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, or you're looking to get off your medication and change your life, then you can give us a call at 615-815-0390 or lt360.com. And again, you're listening to Simplicity Radio with my sister, woman of power and faith, Angela Bingham. This is Michelle Gibson with United Realty Group in South Florida, 
where I listen to and support Simplicity Radio with Angela Bingham. If you are looking to buy or sell real estate in the South Florida area, don't forget to contact me at 561-336-6119 or Michelle with two L's at the number 4 sale pbc.com You are listening to Simplicity Radio with Angela Bingham on WGNS 1450 on your dial. Stay tuned for more stimulating conversation. Hello, everybody. This is Coach Scott Oatesfall with LT360, and we are proud sponsors of Simplicity Radio with Angela Bingham. LT360 is an all-natural healthcare company specializing in getting people healthy at the cellular level while nurturing the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. We're an all-natural healthcare, so if you struggle with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, or you're looking to get off your medication and change your life, then you can give us a call at 615-815-0390 or lt360.com. And again, you're listening to Simplicity Radio with my sister, woman of power and faith, Angela Bingham. Ladies and gentlemen, Simplicity family, I'm putting on my headset so we can be the best in the land and the country, the universe. And we are your team, Simplicity. I am your host, Angie B. And along with my co-host, Angie Renee, Missy D, and Taylor. And we are so happy to have you on the other end of that dial. And what I would like for you to do is, is contact somebody and tell them that they're listening to Simplicity. And this is your Sunday to relax and sit back. And we have a show waiting just for you. And I am so glad, Angie Renee, that on yesterday we went to the health fair. Yes, and yes. We went to the health fair yes. with Daryl Cheney yes. and, and the gospel fest. Yes, the gospel fest and with Daryl Cheney and the uh, Daryl Cheney and Christ Fellowship Corral. Yes. And I'm telling you, we had the best of the best. Yes. yes. We had the health going on. Mm -hmm. And then they came along with the gospel fest and talked about how good Jesus is. Yes. And gospel singers from all over the state uh, were there. Mm -hmm. And what a magical, what a spiritual, and uh, let me change the magical to a spiritual yes. time, good time that we had. Mm -hmm. And congratulations to Daryl Cheney. And they are celebrating with the community and God is just doing great things yes. through them. Yes. And I understand that we will uh, be celebrating their anniversary with them in October of this year and it's going to be at cherry grove and more details will come with that and angie renee while we were there guess who won <laughs> the basket the giveaway Oh my God. Angie <laughs> Renee. Yay. And she was so excited. Was she so said, excited. I never won mm -mm, anything. Mm -mm. And yours truly had to MC <laughs> yes. uh, some of that uh, service. And I'm telling you, it was a high time yes, it in was. the Lord. Mm -hmm. And when they have it next year, community, come out and support because it was so thought out mm -hmm. and, and yeah. It, 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 it really blessed the community. They mm -hmm. had the mammogram mobile unit there. They had people to come out and check blood pressures mm -hmm. and uh, all, all di diabetes, all of that. Everything. And, Everything. And, and, and when you are in health, you are really in wealth. That's right. Because you cannot pay uh, when your health 
is failing, money mm-hmm. can't buy uh, the things of you taking care of your body, yeah, being right. proactive and putting mm-hmm. things in your body that will help you live longer, help you live stronger. That's right. And once again, we had a great time and thank everybody for coming mm-hmm. out. Well, those of you that are listening to us, we love you. And yes. if anybody hasn't told you tonight, we will that God loves you and we love you too. Yes, indeed. Hey! And, just, <laughs> and people say, you can't do anything about it only thing i want you to do is receive it that's right and when you receive it you will feel mm-hmm. out from our heart to yours that we truly mean it right. we, we we we're blessed to have a phenomenal worldwide author uh with us today yes. and you're going to find more about her and we're going to be supportive mm-hmm. of her well thank you for tuning in to fm 100.9 am 1450 and FM 100.5. And those of you who want to stream with us, just go to WGNSRadio.com and scroll on down to Simplicity. And on that air, we'll be right here and we'll meet you there. You know we got to rhyme, right? (laughs) (laughs) No, you got a teacher on the mic. Yeah, yes, a teacher on the mic, teacher on the mic. (laughs) And uh, please follow us on YouTube.com and that's forward slash at News Radio WGNS. And those of you that want to call, please call in at 615-893-1450. Once again, that is 615-893-1450. And Facebook.com forward slash WGNS Radio. And Angie, tell us where else we can... They, they can find us. Yes, we're on Facebook at Simplicity Sunday on WGNS. You can also find us on Instagram at Simplicity Radio. And, and we are on TikTok at Simplicity Radio. Hey, check us out and follow us. We need some followers. We need to get our followers up. We'd appreciate it. We can also be found on streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. Uh, for any uh, questions or correspondence, please email us at Team Simplicity Radio at yahoo.com. Yes, yes. Like, share, follow. Yes, like, share, please. follow. <laughs> and then listen now and listen later mm-hmm. because we want you to really get the essence of the show. Yes. And uh, God is going to bless us and, and is blessing Thank us Jesus. to be in other platforms and, yes. and, and, and other boardrooms and mm-hmm. meeting people. Mm-hmm. Come we on, met Lord. so Come many on. people yes. uh, that were wanting to be on the radio mm-hmm. and Angie Renee we want we hated to tell them that we were booked uh, for 2024 uh, but we're going to thrive in 2025 that's right we're already and, booking yes though, we're for already booking so let us know yeah, let us know fast <laughs> ready for a show to sit at the simplicity desk yes. and 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 we pray about these things and we want the community to know that being informed is one of the best things but then applying the knowledge to become wisdom is the greatest thing That's right. so we want god to bless you and to continue continuously yes. Yes. bless us as simplicity radio talk show and uh those of you that have any 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 <laughs> comments please share them with us mm-hmm. and angie renee she will uh, give you that information during our next break of where you can leave your comments yes. and all of that yes. because we do read them we care about what mm-hmm. you uh uh write and and we true. will always please god mm-hmm. uh, you know with any com- comment or because we want to please and we want to make him smile that's First my and only yes mm-hmm. and then simplicity only means that we want you to understand that god gives us a plan and when you live in that plan you have a purpose mm-hmm. and then when you have that purpose he'll give you a passion with it that you can do it with that you love it Yes. It's your second nature. <laughs> yeah. And then with the purpose, the plan, the purpose, and the passion, he'll give you peace that passes all understanding. Mm-hmm. And people will like, w- w- wonder, like, scratching their head, like, why, why do they do that so easy? It's because you're on a peace mode. Mm-hmm. Hey! Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you're doing what God has told you to mm-hmm. do. Right. And then Obedience. so with the plan, the purpose, and the 
passion and the peace and then he'll give you power yes. supernatural power to move in supernatural speed yes. and give you that energy to do everything that he has assigned your hands yeah. to do you Thank gotta you. align what you what you have been assigned yeah. so we say assignment and alignment is what yes. simplicity is all about That's right and we want you to learn to simplify yeah. your life and you know ladies when God told me to simplify my life I was like oh my gosh this is gonna be <laughs> difficult mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. difficult but it it's is. doable That's and right. when you take things off of your plate mm -hmm. especially Ooh. by because you can't say no to anybody mm -hmm. and then you seem to have this notion that you're you'll find out you're a people pleaser mm -hmm. rather than a God pleaser mm -hmm. now and when you now. ask God Lord should I do this God will give you a yes or a no Mm -hmm. and, and and that's one way to simplify your life mm -hmm. is ask God, is it in my assignment mm -hmm. to do this, whatever right. one, someone is asking mm -hmm. me to do? Yeah, yeah. And if it's not, just say a simple no. Mm -hmm. It is a full sentence, mm -hmm. no, period. That's right. And go on. You're no. good. You can flow in that. That's right. And that, that blessed somebody because I felt it mm -hmm. because it blessed my life. <laughs> Because yeah. sometimes, you know, we, and especially as women, you know, we want to just do, 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 mm, do. And then on. you're taking care of everybody else's do. And then your mm -hmm. who just kind of fades. And then next exactly. thing you know, your self-care is shot. Mm -hmm. So I say self-care before you have to sick care. That's okay, right. so that's one Come thing on. that we want people to do. Mm -hmm. Well, I am ready. We do the drum roll. Angie Renee, take it on and let people know. And we want to say uh, to uh, Taylor that we do yes. uh, our sympathy goes out mm -hmm. for her and their uh, funeralizing a family member. Yes, and we just want God's comfort to be with them. Yes, and uh, shout out to Missy D mm -hmm. and her family as well so god bless all of you yeah, we just yeah, love yeah, you yeah we love you all right mm, uh, go uh, ahead ma'am all right just y yes uh, girl oh and we want to thank god for uh tiffany yeah tiffany doesn't ask me you want a drum roll come on tiffany <laughs> tiffany is our producer for the hour always oh, doing things goodness. in a spirit yes. of excellence and we just love it so mm -hmm. i will give you the point when the drum roll comes after this famous person that we have here tonight yes, yes. uh just a real quick special announcement uh, on behalf of Simplicity Radio, our thoughts and prayers are extended to the victims and families of those affected by the Appala Appalachian High School shooting in Amen. Georgia last week. In moments like these, words are just never enough. Uh, please know that we stand in solidarity with you, and may God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. All Thank you, Jesus. Right. Amen. About tonight's topic and guest. Yes. <laughs> Our show tonight is part of our For the Community series and is entitled The Educated Truth. And our special guest is author of Overcoming the Challenges of Being a Teacher, Miss Felicia Jackson. Miss Felicia Tall Jackson is a four-time Teacher of the Year recipient who is passionate about being a light and advocate for what's right in education and for what's right for future generations. During her 23 plus year career, she has served as an educator with Murfreesboro City Schools and as a mentor to high school and college students who aspire to be educators. Ms. Jackson holds a bachelor's degree in education and a master's degree in educational leadership. She now also adds the title of author to her list of credentials with the publishing of her book, Overcoming the Challenges of Being a Teacher. She is married with two children and two grandchildren and currently resides right here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. You can find her on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Welcome, Miss Felicia Jackson, to the Simplicity Desk. All right, here Yay! it is. Drum roll. Is it rolling? I can't hear it. It's not rolling. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, we're rolling. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's why tech, tech technology. <laughs> That's all right. That's yes, all it right. is. Yes, it is. Welcome, welcome. We are thank excited. You. If you are a teacher or a school administrator, grab pen and pencil. Share this live because we are going to have some golden nuggets to share today. Um, so. That was your bio. Is there anything outside of your bio you want to share before we get started with the conversation? You pretty much covered everything. Awesome. awesome. You covered everything. All right. So, Miss Felicia, how do you manage 
the constantly evolving education. And I know you're retired, right? I retired last May. Last May. Uh, when you were teaching, mm -hmm. how did you manage the constantly evolving educational trends and the increase in workload, performance pressure, uh, and all that whatnot from the school administrators? Yeah, the big thing for me, it's like some people have a cornerstone uh -huh. that keeps them solid or keeps them anchored. I have four. So it was knowing who I am, whose I am, what I care about, and what I stand for. So that kind of anchored me um, to get through the stressors, uh -huh. remembering to always do what's right. I think the thing a lot of teachers forget is remembering they have choices. Mm. And my choice was always to follow the path that will mirror who I was supposed to be uh -huh. as an educator. I think we lose our mission and our purpose ah. because of the pressures. Mm -hmm. oh. Amen. I can Amen. see that. We have, yeah. But knowing that we have choices. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got through it. And always doing what's right. So your philosophy as it relates to teaching. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate on that? Okay. So my philosophy. I feel everyone should have a philosophy of education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and of course, Miss Bingham is an educator. So she understands the importance if you have a philosophy, then you make sure that you do what needs to be done for students. Uh -huh. mm. uh, so my philosophy is being sure the kids are engaged and having fun. That's important. Uh -huh. um, I also have a philosophy. I hear a lot of teachers say, oh, I don't care if the kids like me or not. But they miss the importance of the human connection. Because if kids like you, then they know that you care about them. And... If you care about them, they can trust you uh -huh. to do things. And, and that's it. They have to be able to trust you. Right. So and you have to build that relationship yes. with them so they that's trust key. you. Uh -huh. That is key. The scripture that comes to my mind when I think of you, uh, Felicia Tall Jackson, is Psalms 32 and 8. And it says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Mm. I will counsel with you. My loving eye is mm. on you. And I just remember, you know, working together that not only would you have ideas for your book, but I would often hear you say, I got to see what God says. Mm. Amen. And and I, I encourage everyone to get the book Overcoming the Challenges of Being a Teacher, yes. whether you are a teacher or not. Mm -hmm. uh, this would be a good thing to put on your list for Christmas gifts, Thanksgiving mm -hmm. gifts, mm -hmm. and just everyday gift. Mm -hmm. That when you hear about the challenges that Mrs. Jackson has in her book, she is a truth writer. And she tells it just like it is, and she tells it from her heart. But the whole perspective of her love mm -hmm. is as an unsung hero mm -hmm. in my book. And we've worked together for several years. And she may look real serious, uh, you know, right now on, on our camera. <laughs> but when I tell you the biggest prankster in the world oh is sitting right beside <laughs> oh me. Oh, my goodness. She's getting ready to lie on me. <laughs> But like she wants her students to have fun. She is a fun loving person and her students, it, it exudes out of her. Mm. So she would just dress up. She would put on Afro wigs and uh, uh, Jamaican with the dreads and uh, just anything she could do to encourage her students to learn. Mm -hmm. It was action Jackson ja Jackson. Action mm. Jackson. Let me say that correctly. And I would come down to her classroom at any time. Bingham, can you do this? And I'm in there right with them singing. <laughs> respect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> because her biggest thing was respect. Mm -hmm. And could you expound on that? And, and I know we're here to talk about your book. And as I was reading your book, it brought back so many memories. You know, and, and Jackson, she wanted her children to be respected because she respected mm, them in return like they respected like her mm -hmm. right and a lot of teachers have like a lot of rules i only had one mm -hmm. and it was respect and trying to teach them with respect that covers everything yes mm -hmm. so i didn't have to go over a lot of rules i just had one and then when uh when we would go in and sing aretha franklin's respect yourself r-e-s-p-e-c-t uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> yep 
yeah, and then on video <laughs> right and i would just do that things like okay and then next thing i know we had i had a microphone in my mouth mm-hmm. we were dancing and and your children to this day even in your retirement they came uh from all parts of uh tennessee or the state and in honor of felicia tall jackson mm-hmm. And they said some things that were so heartfelt mm, mm. that how Miss Jackson changed her life and the diversity aspect in her teaching mm-hmm. that not only did she teach other cultures about who they were, she taught her students to respect mm-hmm. other cultures. That's good. That's good. Yes, yes, yes. Could you mm-hmm. could you just say a little bit about that? And we see we need two shows for you. <laughs> <laughs> So a really important part is, uh, I think a lot of people leave it out, it's ensuring that every child feels that they belong. Mm -hmm. They need a feeling of belonging, being, and becoming. So from the time they walk in my classroom, I know I put this in the book, but one of the things I would do is I would go outside my classroom, then I'd walk back in as someone different from myself, whether Mm -hmm. it was someone culturally different, someone a different race, and I would look around the room to be sure I had representation of who I was walking in the room. So you have, to, you have to make sure that they feel that they belong and that they're being and they're becoming uh, someone. And so then with the cultural standpoint, so every month we do the National Cultural Months. Mm-hmm. So every month we, we would uh, recognize one culture, like Hispanic Heritage Month starts September 15th. So for that month, I would do an announcement every day about some famous Hispanic American. Um, end of the month, we would do like a taste of culture. We would mm-hmm. taste food. Oh, yes. Yeah. We would mm-hmm. taste foods from that culture, and I would always cook for the kids. So for every cultural month, we would talk about different cultures. Mm. And I remember the students would always say, well, Miss Jackson, when's my cultural month coming up? Because they would get so excited mm-hmm. that we were recognizing. The kids would get in the front of the room. They would share about their culture. It just did something. Um, and they would tell me, the parents would say, they just feel so special because right. that's so important of pride. to who they are. Yeah, mm-hmm. a sense of belonging. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And then that's what our educational system is really missing, the mm-hmm. diversity. Mm-hmm. And, and, and not wow. only saying it, but doing, doing. it. Mm-hmm. And then when children know who they are and they feel important, they will give you their best. They sure will. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, and I, 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 re- I recognize that, you know, just walking in our classroom that everybody felt like they belong. Mm. Mm. And, and, you know, I, I, I often uh, say that not only did Miss Jackson cook for her children and bake for her children, she had people to come in and volunteer mm. to talk wow. about different cultures. And I might add, she is a good cook. <laughs> and I really enjoyed uh, the, the times you. that you shared with the whole school because she would tell people, come in and get something. But see, when you came in to eat, you also learned about another culture. Mm. And a lot of people, they struggle there. They struggle there. Mm -hmm. If we say we're one nation under God, Mm -hmm. then there are many cultures that make up the nation. That's right. And and we should be in that part of education as Mm -hmm. well. Absolutely. Well, Ms. Jackson, another thing that I really liked, and I I want you to uh, say something uh, regarding the students, when it comes to the challenges of student behavior, do you feel teachers receive adequate parental and administrative support? Okay, so for me, that's an interesting question because since I build relationships the first few weeks and throughout the school year, I never had a need. Because I, I, yeah, I build it not only with my students, but wow. with my parents. Yes. So I never really experienced, I remember the very first year I started teaching and um, it was just kind of protocol. If kids get so many strikes, you send them to the office. And I remember I sent them to the office, just following protocol. <laughs> and the kid came back and I said, so what happened in the office? When you said, oh, well, I got a piece of candy and we played games and we did this. And I was thinking, you did all that for a right. punishment? <laughs> for punishment. <laughs> right. I never sent another child after that. That was my first year. I was like, no, 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 no. We'll right. just deal with it in class. Mm-hmm. But right. in building those relationships, and I would get a lot of students that would, um, were known for throwing chairs, like mm. severe behavior. Yes. Mm. Never had a problem in my classroom though, but that's because I built those relationships with them. Mm-hmm. Um, so as far as knowing the support, I wouldn't know because I never experienced that. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But I did hear a lot of teachers say they didn't feel supported mm. by the parents and the, um, 
administration and I would ask questions like, well, did you build a relationship with the parents? Or tell them to be aware, like, when you write a note about a child, are you positive? Yes. Or are you saying, oh, well, this child's lazy, or oh, this child's this? I said, because no parent wants to hear that. Mm -mm. Right. Yeah, right. So I would always do it, even if they were acting out, I would do it from a positive uh, standpoint, like, uh, we're working on showing respect when this happens. Mm -hmm. Like, I never did it from a negative standpoint. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I noticed that, you know, here lately, more than ever, you find people doing all the complaining rather than the complimenting mm. of children. Mm -hmm. And like you said, when you build that relationship, they feel accountable for their behavior. Mm -hmm. right. they, they, like she said, throwing the, the chairs and mm. running, kicking, wow. biting, scratching, cussing, all of that. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and we, we didn't, and I tell my students often, I didn't come to school to do that. Mm -hmm. I came to school mm -hmm. to teach and to, right. you know and, you know and if you build a relationship with them like the students well, I'm thinking of one student I had not too many years ago but he had had that reputation but he never showed it with me and then one day I could tell he was getting frustrated so I took him in the hallway I said let's talk I said something's bothering you down deep and he didn't mm. want to tell me then finally he broke to tears mm. and he started acting out and he was stomping so I just sat there and I watched and listened and he was talking about um, some boyfriend that had been in the family. He said, he calls me stupid. He knocks me on the floor. And he just stomps my head over and over. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it had been going on since kindergarten, mm -hmm. but no one ever took the time to talk to him to find out, why are you acting out? Mm -hmm. So after that, I mean, he was fine with me after that. After he got out of the I said, you know what? If you need to talk to Miss Jackson, even if you come in and you're upset, just say, Miss Jackson, can I talk to you for a minute? And we'll go out in the hall and talk about it. And I, th I mean, I think that's what you have to do with the kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Build that relationship oh, with them. Wow. Yeah, because I mm. never had a kid to act out like they had done in other classes. And I can vouch for that. You know, the ones that came back to your retirement and they would actually say how you changed their lives. Mm -hmm. And not only was that behavior changed, their life was changed. And see, that speaks that to me, that's education. Exactly. It's, you know, we're more than scores and yes. test scores mm -hmm. and all of these mm -hmm. things. And you made them believe in themselves mm. and your whole classroom and anybody there's even everybody wanted to be in Miss Jackson's classroom because there was discipline, but it was lovingly Love. mm -hmm. done in a loving way. Yeah. And a, a lot of parents would come and, and she would be counseling the parent. <laughs> 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 on how to do, you know, what, what did you do to get, make my child do this, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and, and it, it, it went on with them. And I, I can say uh, for a few uh, students that we had together, uh, I had Emmanuel Smith in kindergarten mm -hmm. and you had him in fourth grade. And what a major impact that you made in mm -hmm. his life when from kindergarten, he was like, yes. And you know, we did the little letters and, and all of that and, and came out really, you know, uh, ready to learn, you know, that type of mm -hmm. uh, child and that type of inspiration was in him. And then here comes first, second and third grade, mm -hmm. something happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Something happened that mm -hmm. pulled his energy mm -hmm. down. Something happened that pulled his self-esteem down. And, and something even happened on saying, I'm not good enough mm, wow. or I'm not smart enough. And when he met Miss Jackson, something changed. Could you explain mm, that? I, and, mm. and you have a little bit of that in your book, but I, I, I like to bring out the, the points that tell the story. And, and like I said, everybody get this book, over challenge, uh, Overcoming okay. the Challenges of Being a Teacher. And That's Jackson right. is gonna tell you how you can purchase books. Yes. Okay? Now, <laughs> Come on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with Emmanuel, it, it, once again, it was building relationships. He yes. had always been kicked out. I would see him in the hallway all the time. Mm -hmm. He was always kicked out of class. Even after he left me, he was kicked out. Mm -hmm. And I remember I didn't see Emmanuel for like 12 years. So I was struggling because the administrator had told me, you have a choice to move up with this class of all these behavior kids you have and change grade levels, learn a new curriculum, or you can take the third graders coming up that you know nothing about. And I mean, I was in tears. I was ready to quit. Because, mm -hmm. you know, uh -huh. you can only take so much of that right. you know, back Amen. to back and point. Especially yeah. with Say a that large, again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially with a large number. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like if I had been mm -hmm. getting one or two, but when over but half your class, your class was loaded, yes. Yeah. So, and they do that to good teachers. Right. So I was really stressed out and I was praying about it. And then I get a call saying, you have a student 
No, they didn't say to have a student. They said, you have a visitor, Emmanuel. And I'm like, well, I'm not supposed to have a visitor unless I let you know I have a visitor. But I was joking when they said Emmanuel. And I said, oh, Emmanuel means God with us. So maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe God sending somebody to help me get through this. And I never forget Emmanuel, when he, he, was, he was a senior at Vanderbilt. And the first thing out of his mouth when he hugged me was, Miss Jackson, thank you for not giving up on kids like me because I know I was a behavior kid. Mm-hmm. And that just totally oh, wow. changed my attitude. I said, you know what? Mm-hmm. Those kids need me mm-hmm. just as much. Need- so I was okay with whatever happened to me after that. But one thing we were talking, and I was talking about why he didn't act out with me mm-hmm. and why he struggled. He said, because I knew you cared. So wow. as soon as I could tell a teacher didn't care, mm-hmm. I acted it. out. Wow. That's and sweet. I never, I, of course, I mentioned that in the book. T- but I remember he said that. And then, of course, then he comes back uh, uh, some years later and he surprises me after K, uh, Kansas City Chiefs wins the Super Bowl. Yes. And he surprised me then. He comes back the next year and brings me to the jersey with my impact on it. Mm. So he's one of many where you realize the impact and the legacy you leave in those students. That's what teaching is all about. Amen. And that's what we have to get back to, the mm-hmm. mission and purpose mm. of why we do this. Mm. It's not about test score. score. I think we get so hung up on the standards of curriculum, we forget mm-hmm. the standards of life. Mm. Oh. Say that again. Yeah, that was yes. we, get, yeah, we get so caught up in the standards of curriculum that we forget the importance of the standards of life. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. I know in your chapter, uh, when I think it's 19, as you inflect, re- you reflect on the impact of words and, and actions. And I loved how you said our feelings arise from uh, our emotions and when I was thinking about some of those students that they call behavioral children Mm -hmm. because so many this is anger you know just Mm -hmm. anger just Mm -hmm. locked Mm -hmm. up inside of Mm -hmm. them and then we're trying to knock down doors that that uh, it took years to build and Mm -hmm. only thing that can knock down those doors and and that we have learned is love and building those relationships Mm -hmm. and when you said when these emotions, unpleasant emotions, it leaves you in a state of helplessness. Mm -hmm. And some of these children Mm -hmm. come to us and that's how they feel. Yes. That's exactly how they feel. Mm -hmm. And they're frustrated and, Mm -hmm. you know, the sadness that comes over them, the loneliness, and even though they're around people, they Mm -hmm. still feel lonely. But somehow Jackson just takes that that love that Mm -hmm. she just so God has given her and she heals a lot of their brokenness. Mm And then mm. next thing you know, they're going to college and, you know, Vanderbilt and, and on the on Dean's list. And mm. who does that? But nobody mm. can do that unless you are gifted from God that you're yes. called yes. to mm-hmm. make a difference and be the difference. Mm-hmm. And that's one thing that I really liked. Yeah. Uh, and I know, I know even sometimes my students, <laughs> even though I, I never said I'm a Christian or anything, but they could tell I, I believed in a higher power. Mm-hmm. I had parents from who were Hindi, Buddhist, whatever, yes. and they would, they would tell me, Miss Jackson, I can tell you believe in a higher power, just mm-hmm. the way you carry yourself, the way you mm-hmm. talk, the way you walk. Mm-hmm. But I remember one day I was just talking about respect and things with my students, mm-hmm. and one of my little girls jumps up and she says, you better preach, Miss Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she knew. Did anybody I say, hey, man? She knew. <laughs> she knew. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, I tell, so it, it's it. like you don't have to do it from a religious standpoint. They can, mm-hmm. they can tell. It, yeah. Because mm-hmm. love, one thing about love, you can't contain it. It, it will come out. Mm-hmm. Right. It will, it, it will exude out of you. And that's one thing that I can say even in our friendship. Through, uh, you know, we met each other at Case and Lane Academy and became friends as, you know, as colleagues. Mm -hmm. And there was one thing about both of us, we knew we were real. Mm -hmm. And you could feel that. Mm -hmm. And not only did it, it it, it came out in in the way we were teaching and the way we uh, were dealing with students. And they would Mm -hmm. send students to us, to the students they couldn't manage and they would either go to Jackson or Bingham. Right. And when Jackson retired, I felt like part of me went away. <laughs> mm-hmm. That speaks volumes to yes. the influence that the two of you all had oh at the school. Oh, my gosh. That is so important. Yes. And kids do they need that. They need someone who can handle them. Yes. And, you know, with it, it, love, of course. Love, Amen. And and love with the, that love is so important. You can't remove that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And, and when Jackson would 
turn around and do these things uh, to the children, mm -hmm. they will come out optimistic and excited, mm -hmm. you know, just to come to school. Didn't even want to miss wow. school. Some of them cried like they, you know, if they were sick or whatever. They wanted to come to school to learn because blessing. somebody cared. Somebody cared. Would you please read uh, one of your favorite uh, parts of your book? Or uh, I know all okay. of them are favorites, but just choose one. Okay, so I'll read... Um, I overcame the challenges of being a teacher by recognizing that the tracks I leave behind will forever be part of my legacy. Because I feel like legacy, that's an important part of our mission. So a teacher's legacy. People will remember you by the tracks you leave, all that you are, and all that you believe. Ask yourself what your legacy will be. Mm. Journey through your life, what do you see? Someone who listens to what children have to say or someone who labels them as tattletales each day? Mm. Someone who hears with, their, with your eyes and your heart or someone whose words inflict pain like a dart. Mm. Someone who makes children feel special and unique mm. or someone who makes them feel powerless and weak. Someone who treats all with equality and respect or someone who treats some with scorn and neglect. Mm. Someone who focuses on the scholarly best or someone who sees far beyond data and test. Mm. Someone who mm -mm. inspires all to be all one can be, or someone who expects fish to climb up a tree. <laughs> someone who has courage to speak the truth, or someone too fearful to champion our youth. Mm. Someone with fortitude to stand up for what's right, or someone who conforms instead of being a light. What your legacy wow. will be is up to you in all that you are and all that you do. Remember the impact you make each day. What legacy are you leaving along the way? That is so beautiful. Mm, that is beautiful. And, you know, and, and reading her book, tears come, mm -hmm. you know, to your heart and then to your eyes because it is so honest, mm -hmm. so pure, and I love that. Mm -hmm. And in and, and part, some, somewhere in your book you had that never leave a child empty and you use the donut, the donut. hole. Uh, to describe that, say something on that because that was very inspiring to me. Yeah, I was saying to look at children. I view children, the visual image that comes to my mind when I think of a child is a donut. Um, and you never leave the, the hole. You have to fill it with love, compassion. Mm. You never leave that hole empty so that that way the whole child can enjoy the goodness because people love donuts. It's like, oh, this is so good but you need to have that whole donut. And I, I like how you child. had the whole as an H-O-L-E for the- W-A-Y, uh -huh, right, And then the whole. the whole child was a W-H-O-L-E mm. because so many times we teach and compartmentalize children, you know, mm -hmm, like right. this one is this one, this. but when you deal with the whole child, of you know their emotions, their feelings, their aware, the academic press, you know the capacity to learn, right. and then some of them you know come so filled with other things that their their learning capacity is just so low. But that doesn't mean that they can't learn. Right. And I right. like how you mm -hmm. use yeah. the donut. And that's the important of focusing on the whole child, not just the academic child, which is what public mm -hmm. education has become. Mm. But if they understand the academic child is just a small part of the whole child. Amen. If you can get that whole child where they feel comfortable, mm -hmm. you're going to reach the academic child. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. Mm. And then that's a good citizen that we produce, you know, right. for our right. society. Mm -hmm. And then with somebody that has a mindset that and they believe in themselves, mm -hmm. that's power mm -hmm. right there. Yes. We yes. empower them. Mm -hmm. I know you guys kind of chuckled when I said expect fish to climb up. Yes, the tree. yes. Did you understand what I meant by <laughs> yes, that? Yes, yes. There's so many different kids in the mm -hmm. school. So some kids, whether they have a learning disability or whatever, they push them academically. Like it's like trying to get a fish to climb a tree. They'll never. Right. reach that high right right, right. Mm -mm. as long as, as long as they're growing was always my attitude mm -hmm. yes yes and i when you when you uh said that in that poem i thought about you they swim better in water mm -hmm. you know we expect for them to climb the tree that that's not their their, their uh nature nurturing right. environment for right. learning and they i've never seen fish have swimming classes mm, ever mm -mm. Mm -mm. they just mm -hmm. naturally do that it's in them Right. And so it's natural for every human being to learn mm -hmm. because we are created in the in, in God's image. That's right. And he knows knows everything. His his knowledge, his wisdom is to infinity. 
Yeah, that's it, why it's so important to highlight all the potential. Oh, the child has. yes. Because not every child has the same potential. Mm -hmm, mm, I love that. Mm. Yeah. So my focus as a teacher was, you know, you, this may not be your strength, but you have strengths in other places. Absolutely. Now, in, what, what, what made you do the title uh, of your uh, book? What was the, the inspired you to just say, this is the title? God. I believe it. God. <laughs> I believe the book, it. Yeah, the, the book was totally God inspired. Amen. I believe it. <clears throat> now, I think I told you, like, 2009 is con just been ongoing for 15 years with me making changes as time passed. But in 2009, I was going to write an education book. And I wasn't going to self publish. Self publishing wasn't big then. So I was looking online, like, what do I need to do to get a publisher to publish a book about education? And it said you need, well, you were there, you were, you, I was with you when all this was going on. So it said you need um, at least two or three teachers of the year. So I'm like, okay, I got one. I'm not going to get two or three anytime soon. You need a graduate degree, which I'm like, that's going to take me too long to get that. Or you need a writing project. And this is no lot. So I held my papers. It was Martin Luther King week, uh, Monday. And I held my papers in the air and I said, God, if you give me a writing project or another teacher a year, I promise you I'll write an education book. And I threw the stuff in the corner, not wow. thinking anything about it. <laughs> so I go to school the next day and the principal says, Miss Jackson, when you get a break, I need to talk to you. I said, oh, okay. So I'm kind of like, what did I do? <laughs> so I go in the... <laughs> right. <laughs> Call me I, to the car. Who did I prank <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Who'd I> <laughs> now? So I go in and he says, I'm not supposed to tell you this for another week, but I want to let you know you got teacher of the year. And my eyes kind of watered, and I'm like, okay, is that just a coincidence? So I go down to the room just trying to wrap my head around what he had said. Yeah, that was exactly what I'd asked for. And I opened my computer, and the subject line was writing project. Well, then my tears started falling, wow. and the only thing it said was, we heard you might be interested in a writing project. Contact us if you, if you are. It was wow. from MTSU. I lost it. Mm, remember, I came down to your I room. Remember. I came down to your room. I said, God is talking to me because he gave wow. me the two things I asked for. So even though it's taken me 15 years, I feel like I had to go through some things yes. and see some things wow. to finish my book. So, and, and, I, and what, I, what I adore, uh, that your love for the Lord, you stayed mm -hmm. true mm -hmm. to what you, right. reading the book, you did not, you know, sugarcoat anything. Mm -hmm. You came across this book, administrators, you need to buy the yes. book. Uh, uh, school administrators, mm -hmm. any, any, really any, in, yeah. in, any business right. uh, could learn from this because people are always uh, in need of education no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. You got to mm -hmm. learn right. something even as on the job. And, and a great group discussion book. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Group discussions mm -hmm. And I, I would even say as far as, you know, when you have your church groups, yes. your women groups, mm -hmm everybody this is a it's very a good read, good read mm -hmm. uh that you need to put in practice and some of some of you just need to read it to show to to uh see how you can yeah. change yes. and have a compassionate heart mm -hmm. because you know you cannot beat a horse and expect for it to run the race and win mm -hmm. it's something that's going to kick back right. if they don't right. kick you <laughs> you know because we're on a horse <laughs> with right. my uncle was in horseshoeing for years and he said he went all over the world mm -hmm. because he could talk to a horse and not get kicked one time and was the best horseshoer all known all wow. over the world. Wow. And, and, and it, when I look at Jackson, she has that. And they, they, you know, people call him, oh, you're a whisperer. And, and, and <laughs> that's, that's the world's way of saying it. Mm -hmm. But my way of saying it, you're gifted, gifted. from God. Right, right. And, and it showed so much that you said in 15 years that you were going to finish the book of overcoming the challenges and just look at the book, see the sunrise, see mm. the flowers and everything is just up worshiping mm. God because mm. see the clouds and what, what God will do. And in her cloudy days, she kept, you know, she kept singing through mm. it. And mm. even though the tears fell, she kept doing it, even though the pressures came. And I witnessed myself yeah. the things that Jackson went through and still came better on that other side of through. Yeah, God yeah. will never forsake you. That's right. And what, what he had for her to do, look, y'all, it has mm -hmm. come to pass. Mm -hmm. And this is just the first one. Yeah. So every time she has one, she has an open seat at the desk of simplicity yeah. because God, I know she is listening to God mm -hmm. and we need yeah. more God fearing teachers right. in our school systems mm -hmm. today. So yeah. I would even ask for 
the school district leaders, what are you, the superintendents, mm -hmm. to even get this book and right. have uh, a book study with your teachers, with your staff, mm -hmm. because this is what we need to produce. Even MTSU, we need to, uh, Dr. McPhee, uh, get it to your educational uh, 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 department, because if we don't produce this, mm -hmm. America, we are Come in on. trouble. Come on. Because you, if you don't produce love, love mm -hmm. won't produce. Yes, and, and we're school beating board members, legislators, yes, mm -hmm. all of them. It because takes a village. It we takes a village. Together. It does. And, yes, and, it does. And, and it takes a villain to bring them down. Exactly. It takes a village mm -hmm. to lift them up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Preach, <Cheryl. laughs> And you know, I use sunflower. Sunflowers is my favorite flower. Yes. So um, I use sunflowers on the book because sometimes I walk around and people will look so depressed, and I would say, "Oh, I'm a sunflower." They said, why sunflower? I said, because a, sunflower, a young sunflower always tilts his head towards the light. Mm. And you leave the shadows behind you. So that's why I chose the sunflowers I when like I designed that. the cover and I had the sun, because the sunflowers always yes. face the light, yes. even in the darkness. Mm. Yes. Mm -mm. Angie Renee, would you take us to our break, please? Yes, I will. Want to sow a seed into Simplicity Radio so that we can continue to do greater things through this ministry? You can donate via Cash App at dollar sign Simplicity with Angie. That's A N G I E. Again, that's uh, dollar sign Simplicity with Angie. Or you can email us at Team Simplicity Radio for more information. All right, Journal Junkies. Woo! Woo! Team Simplicity Radio presents Journal Junkies. Uh, we are pleased to announce the start of our Journal Junkies Club. Journal Junkies will be a gathering where we will come together to heal from those things we do not talk about. Our first gathering will be held on Saturday, October 19th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the 615 District Restaurant in Murfreesboro. Grab your favorite journal and your favorite pen. I'm a pen, uh, I'm a pen connoisseur. And join us for fun, fellowship, and restoration. Amen about next week's show join team simplicity next sunday for another for the community series conversation on talk topic the game changers with special guest mr eric murray of class 101 he will be talking to us about how his organization can help high school students get prepared to take college entrance exams apply for scholarships choose a major and make the final college decision also in studio for the last segment of that show will be uh, we will have Louis Mata, who is running for the Tennessee State House of Representatives in District 49. We will see you then for those two conversations. Now back to tonight's uh, Simplicity Sunday topic, the educated truth. Ooh, Ooh. Amen. You know, I want to uh, talk about what you said about the the children and teaching the entire the whole child and not just part of the child the, the, the academic part and i thought when you teach a child to be whole it creates an adult that is complete mm. so many people are looking for someone to complete them Absolutely. but if it starts in childhood and you teach that child to be whole they'll already be complete and they'll know it Amen. so they'll look for someone to compliment them mm. not complete them because Absolutely. they're already complete and ready to go oh, I so like that. i thought about that i said oh man that's that's where it starts it mm -hmm. starts in childhood mm -hmm. and it starts with teachers like you all mm. so thank you from the bottom of my heart and i think i can speak for all of our listeners we appreciate you, all the work that you all have put in to our nation's future leaders mm. so that's my just had to get like that, that out <laughs> i do too and, you know, as teachers, you know, sometimes there's an incredible amount of stress, mm -hmm. you know, that comes along sure. with that job. Mm -hmm. And and we would often tease each other if I were in corporate and they paid us like they paid corporate, then it would be worth the stress. <laughs> Remember. And I, yeah, we would, we would joke about it, but then I would question, but would it be worth the stress? Would it? I know. It. And that's either Because I know a different people in stress. corporate making good money. I was like, but you kind of get paid for the stress. That's what but, we would, yeah, yeah, we would we always would joke say around that. about that. But you know, what, in, in your opinion, uh, the amount of stress that is placed on educators, you know, with all the ever changing, you know, dynamics, and, and one minute you test this way, and one minute they don't want you to teach that way. And one minute you got uh, this curriculum, and next, next minute, minute you got, you got another, another curriculum, curriculum yeah. and sometimes they change both curriculums at the mm. same time. And so, how important is it? 
for you to set boundaries or your advice for teachers to set boundaries and to use their voices to be an advocate for themselves or for yourself. Okay. And not only for ourselves, but for the children. Amen. We got, we got Amen. to advocate yeah. for the yeah. kids because yeah. the stress levels, levels are ridiculous. But I think it's very important to set boundaries. A lot of people, and this is yeah. not only in teaching, but in any um, profession, but they, they walk in fear. Mm. They're, they're fearful of, well, if I stand up, then I might lose my job or I might wow. get backlash or repercussion mm. or what if they don't like me or what if I don't fit in if I don't take a stand? And I was always one, I would use 2 Timothy 1.7, uh, that God has given us the spirit not to be fearful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I would always walk, you know, I don't have to be fearful because I know God has my back. Amen. So I was one that I would always stand up. And regardless of the repercussions that would come, because my attitude was, you're always going to have your Goliaths. You're always going to have your Judases. Yeah, yeah. You're always going to have people mm -hmm. trying to throw you into mm -hmm. that lion's den. But I knew I had God's favor. Mm. And I knew it wasn't to destroy me. It was to strengthen my faith. Hallelujah. So mm. I think if you could get past the fear and take a stand. Also, um, I think about teaching the best way I can think of it is because we work sun up to sundown. It's like it never, we never catch up. Yeah. So with teaching, if you don't set boundaries, it'll become a career of slavery. Mm. Mm. So slaves that work sun up to sundown Ooh. rather than a career fulfillment Hallelujah. where we're trying That's to make good. a meaningful difference. Mm -hmm. um, mm. A lot of teachers, they're like, oh, I'm, eventually you just start going through the emotions. Like, oh, I just need to get through this day. Mm -hmm. Then it goes from that to, well, I just want to survive. Wow. Then it goes from that to burnout. Yes. And I saw so many teachers, and I write about this in the book, how the chronic stress, which is what we deal with, as well as mm -hmm. the students, how it impacts our health. Mm -hmm. And I know one, one teacher that I mentioned in the book, after her first year, she was hospitalized. Mm -hmm. She had developed ulcerative colitis. And she said that she was so mm -hmm. angry mm -hmm. because now for the rest of her life, she has, to get a she has to go to chemo once a month. And she said she was talking to the specialist, and she said she had over 3,000 patients. Over half of them were teachers wow. because it's stress-related, wow. and there's no cure. So once you get it, then you have it the rest and, of your and life. And what, what was that again? It's ulcer ulcerative colitis. Mm. And, we, and just it, on that note, I know a lot of teachers will be listening and go back to listen, listen to this uh, segment, mm -hmm. uh, community segment. Uh, even from hearing that, uh, a change mm. needs to happen. Yes, it does. And right. it's a mindset mm. to, mm -hmm. say, to say uh, the boundary, it stops here. You know, set right. those boundaries. And, and, and self-care, breathe, go home. Mm -hmm. And, you know, cook dinner, sit on the couch. Or, because you know, your like mind is forever, you know, yeah. turning. Of mm -hmm. How can I help this child when you're a good teacher? You know, mm -hmm. how can I help mm -hmm. this child? Or what can, what can I do wow. to bring this one up? Or what can I do to bring this one in? What can I do to, you know, uh, that's forever turning yeah. inside of mm -hmm. us. So, you know, before we uh, have to say, uh, we're not out of talk, I hate that. <laughs> Ooh, I hate it. Especially, it seems like the little hour goes so fast until we get our own. Uh, can you tell people how they can get yes. overcoming the challenges of being a teacher? Let me show you my book. So you can get this um, on Amazon. You just type in Overcoming the Challenges, or you can type in my name, and it'll come up. I'll also be at Linebog Library um, September 21st, and I'll have some copies there to sell, and they're $15. And then October 26th, I will be at Smyrna at the Author Book Fair. Mm -hmm. You can get it there. And uh, when you get the book, when you read the book, don't just get it, read it. Mm -hmm. And then leave a review. Tell Thank them you. to do that. So if you get it on Amazon, leave a review on Amazon. Just go into wherever you ordered it and then leave a review. Or you can go to goodreads.com, type in the name of the book and leave a review. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are yeah. not out of talk, but we, we are, are out, out of time. time. <laughs> we will see you. We love you. God bless you and yes. simplify your life. Yes. Good night. We Good love night. you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <Jack>. you. <laughs>
This is Pastor James M. McCarroll Jr. welcoming you to the First Baptist Church Worship in the Word broadcast. First Baptist Church is located at 738 East Castle Street in the beautiful city of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It is our prayer that something will be said during this broadcast that will strengthen your faith, enliven your hope, and encourage your walk in Jesus Christ. I pray that you will sit back, listen, and receive the Word of God into your life. Now, let's go into the Word. God bless you. Let us come to make you strong. If you just learn to. 